you're failing to realize that that's going to take you down a really bad path in your life if you follow that path. The same thing, if your room is always messy, if your house is always messy, if you refuse to, you know, wear clean clothes, if you're just lazy and you're eating poorly, all those things, if you don't pay attention to your surroundings, you're going to fail to realize that these are the exact things that are right there in front of your face that are holding you back. Hey Life Gamers, welcome back to Gaming About Life, the channel where we play video games, we talk about life, and hopefully you are the one getting something good out of this video, something to help you become better, smarter, healthier, wiser, something to just make you happy. The objective of this channel is to help you live a much better life. Today we're playing Final Fantasy X, I haven't played this in a little while, uh, we're just going to post put it on fast battle mode so I can get a lot of fights in, and today I just want to give advice for anybody who is under 30. But honestly, this advice really just suits, you know, anybody. Um, but I say under 30 because, one, I'm under 30, so this is a reminder, you know, an advice to myself. And also because I see that a lot of younger people nowadays are the ones that need a lot of focus on. Because, well, the world is not moving in exactly a great way when it comes to education and to, you know, common sense, especially. Um... But what I want to cover today is just some advice that I know helped me become who I am today. And today, I'm a completely different person than who I was three, four, five years ago. If, if 18 year old or even 21 year old me saw me, saw 28 year old me today on the street, I would not recognize myself. I wouldn't recognize anything from the way I walk to the hair to the, the clothes that I wear, to the confidence in my step, to the way I act, I would not recognize myself. So hopefully this advice, you know, these pieces of advice will help you the same way that it helped me. I think the main thing is because, you know, you're young. We are young. I'm still young. You know, a lot of a lot of times when you're 25 and above, you already, might already think that, you know, you're not as young and, you know, you have a family, you have to have a family and whatnot. Like, those are stereotypes. It, trust me, you're young. We're all very, very, very freaking young. So the first thing is, please, please pay attention to your surroundings. And I mean everything. And let me explain you why. Or let me tell you first, actually, what to pay attention to. Which is, let's just start with your bedroom. Pay attention to your bedroom. Is it messy? Is it clean? Is it full of dark colors, you know, which normally tend to represent, you know, sadness, loneliness, um, depression or is it full of bright colors where you know it tends to show happiness joy and energy excitement is it full of everything is it cluttered or is it very minimalistic you know is it easy for you to find things or is it really hard for you to find your key your wallet your phone is where you live a good neighborhood do you feel safe to go out at night? Do you feel safe to do activities? Is it a place that you can go and go for a walk anytime that you want? Or is it dirty? Is it, you know, you know streets smell bad. You feel, at, you know, in danger anytime that you go out because anything could happen. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the people you are with. And I've made uh, quite a few videos on this. You can check out on the cards down, uh, down, up on the top right side of the video. Um, with some of the videos about friend circle with which this is a humongous part of your life You have to focus on this But pay attention to who you're surrounding yourself with because nine out of ten times you are Who you surround yourself with so if you're around people who are you know putting you down or putting other people down Who are rude who do not respect your peers, you know, they're not close to your family that might rub off on you Pay attention to your surroundings. Are you near people who are actually supportive? They actually help you and they make you feel really happy. And they are the ones, you know, that kind of are the reasons for you to be in such a good mood every day. You know, pay attention to your surroundings. And I'm saying for you to do this because we 
are so caught up in everyday routines and caught up in, you know, school, in assignments, in friend circles, and activities that we want to do. And again, referring to, you know, the younger generation. Um, we are so caught up in seeing if the club that we are in has cute guys or cute girls. If we are, you know, you know, if our parents don't get us and we have to make TikTok videos saying how depressed and how annoyed and how frustrated we are with our parents, like, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in all of these things that you forget to pay attention to your surroundings. And when you fail to do that, you are literally blinding yourself to all the red flags and all of the signs that are telling you, screaming in your face, hey, you need to change this, okay? Because as I said, one of the biggest things is your friend circle. So if you're caught up in going out and drinking or doing drugs, or, you know, and going out with friends that you, that are, you know, doing not so good things, you know, they're being rude, they're making fun of people, and it's like, like, you're failing to realize that that's going to take you down a really bad path in your life if you follow that path. The same thing, if your room is always messy, if your house is always messy, if you refuse to, you know, wear clean clothes, if you're just lazy and you're eating poorly, all those things, if you don't pay attention to your surroundings, you're going to fail to realize that these are the exact things that are right there in front of your face that are holding you back. There are the th 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 they are the things that are not allowing you to live the life that you want to live. So please pay attention to your surroundings because if you literally take three laps around your house around your room you around your neighborhood around your job around just your mentality you will find things you fix you will find things that you need to pay more attention to that you need to you know problems that you need to, need to solve challenges that you need to take head on or even things that you need to put a pause on so that is the first advice that I have to pay attention to your surroundings. Because once I started doing that, I realized so many things there were wrong, so many things that I did not want in my life, and yet somehow I had them because I wasn't paying attention to them. The second thing is, and this is a big one, this is a very, very big one. <sighs> Accept your mistakes. This is this is like the biggest power that you have if you're under 30. Heck, even if you're under 40. But more specifically, if you're under 30. You are young as hell. <laughs> you may not think it. You may already be in a crisis that you think that you're growing up too fast. You're getting old. You're not. You're not. That's the thing. That's your biggest part. Because you're young, there's so much easier, theoretically, so much easier for you to accept your mistakes because you don't know any better. You have to stop being so hard on yourself. And you have to realize, holy shit, I'm only 18. I am only O-N-L-Y, only 18, only 20, only 25, only 30. I know life may feel like it's passing really freaking quick. And it's like, holy crap, I'm already, you know, 20, I'm already 25, I'm already 30. But you're still, you're still 25, you're still 30. And you have to take that, you know, it's not that you have to, but, you know, I don't want to tell you what you have to or have not to do, but I'm telling you what you could do, you know, is which is accept the mistakes that you're making and not just be like oh yeah i made this mistake whatever i'm young like you know don't don't just you know use that as an, an excuse but accept that you don't know any better i know that parents can be a pain in the ass i know that you know teachers and your peers they can be really just tough you know because you feel like they don't understand you and sometimes they don't heck a lot of the times they don't but you have to try to understand, you know, again, sorry, you should try to understand that accepting your mistakes helps you understand that, hey, I am young and I made this mistake and it's okay because everybody makes mistakes and everybody that is criticizing you right now has made mistakes in the past and they will in the future. But, but because I am young, I can learn more. And see, that's going to shift your mindset. That's going to open up your mind to to um, understand that... Oops, I pressed the wrong button here. <laughs> that 
you can continue to make mistakes because that is essential. That is part of growing up. That is part of learning. It's part of becoming an adult and achieving the things you want to achieve in your life because you only learn through mistakes. You can't learn through consecutive wins. You can't win all your life either because at some point you have to lose, you have to suffer, you have to feel anxious and, and frustrated and stressed because that's the balance between learning and growing and achieving with fulfillment what you want to achieve and just being there, just living. That's the difference, you know? If you just win all the time, if you just, you know, have everything that you want because you're giving to it or you're just lucky, then you're just kind of existing, you know? There's not going to be fulfillment in it, you know? Because everything is coming to you, there's no fulfillment in achieving things. And we're all human beings, we need to feel fulfilled. We need to feel, feel fulfilled to actually, you know, move forward in life. So please, accept your mistakes. Just understand that you are going to continue making mistakes for the rest of your life. The thing is, you can get better at it and you're going to make less and less mistakes. And once you make new mistakes, you're going to become so good at recognizing your mistakes and accepting them that you're going to make up for it very, very quickly. You're going to be like, oh, I made this mistake. What do I need to do to fix this? Oh, it's this because it happened in the past and I learned this. Like, And that's it. You know, you move forward. So please understand you have to accept your mistakes, no matter how old you are, no matter how young. You have to learn to accept your mistakes. In conjunction with that, in parallel with that train of thought, you have to learn to be kind, but don't be blind. Now, what I mean is, look, you have to accept your mistakes. Yes, you have to, you know, understand that things are going to happen, but, but you cannot be blind to the screaming red fla flags and the screaming um, facts, you know, and experiences in life that are telling you, hey, you've made this mistake more than once, more than twice, more than three times. Or when your friends are telling you, hey, you need to go down a better path because otherwise your health is going to go down the drain or because, hey, you're going to lose so much money or, hey, you, you, you know, this is not healthy for you. You know, and that could be your friends telling you, that could be your parents, that could be your peers. But you have to be kind to yourself no matter what. But you can't be blind to all of the things that the world and the universe is trying to tell you, you know, because the thing is, once you you are constantly kind to yourself, you, it, it, two things can happen. Either you're going to you're going to get lost in all that pleasure of always taking care of yourself. It's like, oh, today I'm going to rest. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to eat this junk food because I'm taking care of myself. I'm being kind to myself, you know, and then that happens the day after. And that happens, you know, four days after. And then and that's constantly happening. What happened to Lulu? <laughs> so, you have to be kind to yourself. But you can't allow yourself to literally be lost in your pleasures. Because then that programs your brain to just focus on pleasure. Just, I'm just going to be kind to myself. You keep telling yourself, you're sabotaging yourself, essentially. You're telling yourself, oh, I'm going to be kind to myself because, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then you're not moving forward. You're just focusing on being kind, being kind, being kind. But then you're not achieving anything. And that is going to make you frustrated. That's going to make you feel like, oh my god, I didn't do anything this week. I didn't do anything today. Like, you know. Or I'm already, you know, 25 years old, 30 years old, and I haven't done anything. And that's because you sabotage yourself in always being kind. But forgetting to actually balance it out and be like, hey, I actually need to push myself. You know, I actually need to be a little bit rough on myself. Just so that I can accomplish these goals, you know. And get to where I want to get to. So be kind to yourself, but don't be blind to every sign that the world throws out to you. And lastly, and I know this, you know, everybody kind of says this and you've heard it a million times before, but I just got to say it as well. Seriously? <laughs> I got to say it, um, which is, you can get through it. Just, and I'll end this so the video's not too long, but I'll end this on the, I'll end it like this. Ow! <laughs> he said, ow. Um, Actually, I don't need to cast a spell. I can do this, <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> and <it> goes, <laughs> um, you can get through this. I know you've heard it many times before. I know that um, 
um, it, it's it's easier said than done, and it's so it's such you know such a uh, it's something that everybody says, and it just kind of loses the power of it. But please, I mean, don't even listen to me, but just please try to understand. And I'll finish here. That there are more than like at least a hundred. And I'm shooting very, very low. I'm aiming very low. But there is at least more than a hundred people today that have gone through exactly the same thing that you're going through right now. And or worse. And sometimes a lot, lot worse than what you're going through right now. And they made it. Okay. I know it's hard. I, I deal with this myself. I'm like, how the fuck can I be, you know you know, better, how can I learn more, how can I get out of this rut, and it's hard, it's hard, it's challenging, it is, but you can get through it, because so far, where you are in life right now, you've survived 100% of all your problems, you're here, you made it, and you're gonna get through it, so please remind yourself, and again, you don't have to listen to me, you don't have to listen to the people on the internet, just listen to yourself, whenever this thought comes to your mind, you can get through this, you absolutely have every capability every skill to get through it all you need is time and again especially if you are under 30 you have so much time to learn okay we have so much time to learn you and i and all of us we can get through this no matter how hard it is so i hope this video made sense to you i hope that you can apply some of these things to your life and hopefully they will actually you know help you get through you know tough times if there's anything that I can do for you, please let me know. Leave a message, a comment down below, or a message on my social media, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If it made sense to you, if it helped you at all, if you brought you value, consider leaving a like that's just down below. It takes you a second and it helps the channel grow so much and helps me know that this video made a difference to somebody today. And if you want to see more of this video, if you like the content and if you want to get notified too, subscribe and hit the little bell that's next to it because that way you get notifications whenever a new video is up. And if you think that, you know, there's somebody in your life that needs to hear this message and see a video like this, then consider sharing the video too. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything that I can do for you, please leave a comment down below. Reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.